Hi all, welcome to another video. Well, I'm down here at uh, Karakalinga Beach. Um, gonna give it a shot. I'm not after anything specific, um, but I thought I might as well come down around about dusk. Uh, we've got very little tide today, so I thought I might as well concentrate my time around the twitching hour. See if there's anything around. Um, like I said, not gonna specifically be targeting anything, but I brought worms, got the Paternoster rig using size fours. Um, using lighter line this time, using around about 10 pound, 8 pound uh, litre. So I'm going to give that a bit of a toss around and see if uh, there's any fish around here. I've specifically chosen this spot because there is actually quite a bit of reef system relatively close in. So there should be structure here. Well, sorry, there is structure here. Um, and hopefully there'll be a few fish because of the structure. We'll soon find out, I suppose. Let's give it a go. Okay, so there we have it. As I said, standard pattern Oster rig. Uh, I thought I was using side fours, but now I'm using size sixes for a change. Uh, I might have got my packets mixed around, <laughs> but anyhow, so bait it up with some uh, bung and worm. Let's get it out there and see if we can find a fish. What do we got? A little crab, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Just let go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> little sand crabs. Oh, that's a female with eggs too. That's pretty cool. All right, better get her back. Come on, turn over. There we go. <laughs> See, little miss. <laughs> now that that sun's getting a little bit low, I'm starting to get a few bites. A bit small though. <laughs> Probably little mullet or little tommies or something. So we just need to hook one of them to find out what it is. Well, first fish of the day. It's not a good one. <laughs> the good old toady, puffer fish. Get the sun in. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'll get him back in. Well, the fishing may not be great on such a bad tired day, but not a bad view.
<laughs> all right so got another toady <laughs> two fish for the day and they're both toadies yeah anyway i'm really just killing a bit of time i'm um, gonna head up to a jetty i'm gonna see if i can get some garfish tonight fingers are crossed anyway i mean like i said there's not much movement but at night at least you're in with the chance all right well that's me done for this uh little video uh, as you can tell it wasn't exactly the most exciting video in the world but uh, at least I got out today and got to give it a shot or I should say this uh, evening um, yeah can't wait to give the uh, garfish a try now so I'll head up to the uh, coastline or down the coastline whichever way you want to look at it uh, hopefully I can find some let's have, have a look stay tuned okay so we're heading down to uh, probably one of the most inconspicuous little jetties you'll ever find um, it barely makes it to the water's edge. And by the looks of it, it's probably in the water by around about, oh, good two, three metres. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I'm down here at the Normanville Jetty. This is where I'm going to try for my garfish. I've got burly, I've got gents. I've also got a different setup. Um, this here is basically my nighttime garfish setup. I'll go into a bit more detail into that, on that in just a little minute in just a little while I should say <laughs> but look how short this little jetty is it's great <laughs> didn't know the lights were going to work but it looks like they've got the solar powered lights so if you have a nice bright sunny day you should be able to get some light on the jetty which is very handy Now one of the things I probably should have brought with me is a squid jag, but I'm here for the garfish. It's always handy to have one though, you just never know when a squid's going to chase in one of your garfish or something. But we've got beautiful offshore winds, so let's give it a crack. Okay, so here you have the, uh, well my nighttime garfish set up. Some people's vary, um, but what we've got is a burly float. Now down below the burly float, only by around about say 20 odd centimetres, we've got a single size 10 Daiichi. And then above it, just a little way above it, there's another size 10 Daiichi. So one hook below, one hook above, and all I'm going to do is pack the uh, burly float obviously full of burly, uh, bait up with some gents and flick it out there. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so there we go got it burlied up got the hooks all loaded up as well now you're probably gonna ask the question why don't I have a uh, glow stick on the float well you don't need it when you're doing this kind of fishing you're actually watching for the bite on the actual rod tip itself there you go so I flicked that one out there a fair distance all right so one of the things that I did forget um, would have been nice to actually have some glow sticks for the tip of the rod itself um, but I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it uh, yeah, the, uh, I did have some glow sticks, but unfortunately they're in the other car, and the other car's at the mechanics at the moment, so that's a no-go. All right, let's get the other rod set up. Okay, so second one set up, ready to go. Now, I've got to try and keep them apart. Um, the wind should help me quite a bit in this situation, so what I might do, though, is I'll move this across to one side of the jetty. And this one, I'm going to cast it on a bit of an angle away from the other one. Just watch out for there's a couple of boys out there actually so here we go all right so all i need to do now is just stand here and keep an eye on the tips of the rods and wait for the garfish to come hopefully it doesn't take them too long to pick up that burly trail now one of the things that is definitely worthwhile doing is to always check on your floats and that's where your burley's coming from don't want to run out of burley there you go so I've got a little bit of burley still left in there so I'll top that one up and cast it back out all right got our first hook up that was pretty cool you might be a Tommy though soon find out sounds like a Tommy 
Yep. Beautiful, Tommy. Let's put my uh, hood down. And he's necked that right down, actually. There you go. Beautiful night time, Tommy. I will right, we'll dispatch him. We'll definitely keep that one. Good size. Well, first fish. Wasn't the one we were actually uh, targeting, but I'll still take it, Tommy, any day of the week. Hopefully we get a few more garfish come through. Let's see. All right, I reckon we've got a garfish here. Having a look. Every now and then you'll see it. There we go. That, that's probably a garfish right there. Oh, no, I missed him. Small fish, maybe. Something playing with it. But that's what I was talking about. You actually watch the tip of the rod more so than uh, worrying about anything else. Also, another thing that you do while you're doing this kind of fishing at night is you also keep your ears peeled. You listen to the splashes, and sometimes you'll actually hear the fish before you even see the rod tip uh, start to bend. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll better check the bait on that one. Oh, that's a bummer. That could have been a gar. <laughs> Just my luck today. Oh, I got it uh, all tangled up. That's probably not going to help me. I reckon there must have been when I was striking at it. Yeah, that looks like a garfish. As you can see, they've been mouthing that. They've gone very soft and limp. All right, I better get this rebaited. Get it back out there as quickly as possible, I think. Sorry. So yeah, these look like they're all limp. They've been sucked on by garfish. So I need to get that rebaited get back out there again hopefully we can get him now I'm pretty sure we just had another bite in this one yeah definitely a couple little touches there hopefully it's garfish come on come on garfish just check the other rod yeah she's fine Definitely something there. Small fish, I think. Check that again. Yeah, they're hanging a little bit limp too. I'll top that up. See, that look fine, those ones. So yeah, those are looking a little bit limp. I might replace a few of those. Top up the burly. Those ones look fine. All right. All right, well, I think I've hooked another fish. Just a dead weight, basically. That's what it feels like. Don't know what's going on here. There's a Tommy. I think I must have got caught on my other line. Ugh, look at that. What a mess. Oh, <laughs> that's an absolute mess, that is. Got to get that fixed up. Quick smart. All right, well, I've just finished untangling that rod there. Believe it or not, it wasn't that bad. Um, just had to take off some of the bait from the hooks. Um, and pretty much the rest just fell out. All right, so this one, while I was doing that, he was getting a bite. There seems to be a fish on, hopefully. Yep, something on. This going to be the garfish. Doesn't feel like it's rattling around like a Tommy. 
well, it seems to be cruising to the right a little bit so still could be a Tommy yep Tommy <laughs> well I don't mind if there's decent Tommies out there they're definitely worthwhile catching when they get that size oh <laughs> that's a stonking Tommy I haven't caught a Tommy this big for quite a while but mind you I haven't been fishing the nights there you go. How's that for a Tommy or Australian herring, whichever way you want to call it? Oh, <laughs> sensational. Whoa. There we go. All right, so I'll get him dispatched. That one's definitely bound for the smoker, I'd say. Whew. Alright, well a quick change of uh, plans, I decided to come down here to Second Valley, got the whole jetty to myself which is great, um, some boys just left, they got a squid, um, but yeah, wind's right behind me here, I've just seen a garfish jump as well, so fingers crossed, let's see how we go here. Alright, well unfortunately I didn't have the camera on my head, but that's my intended species, got one, finally. Alright, better get back out there again. Alright, well we're definitely getting a few more garfish bites now. Yeah, that definitely feels like a garfish. Kick it around like a guardie. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful garfish. Here we go. Chunky. They're the type of garfish you want. All right, we'll dispatch him. Add him to the, the uh, sorry, I'll dispatch him and add him to the uh, bag. Hope you enjoyed that nighttime garfish session. It was a little bit of fun. Uh, even though that the uh, we're on a dodge tide period when I did that video, um, which always sucks. Uh, I never ever liked fishing dodge tides. Still ended up with a couple of fish. Um, there were definitely a lot of fish in the water. I could see quite a lot of uh, garfish and also tommies, especially at Second Valley. There was plenty swimming around. Uh, they were just a little bit shut down. So unfortunately, that's what happens when you've got dodge tides. Um, but all you can do is persevere. Um, if that's all the time you've got to fish, put the time in, fish it. You will catch something. It may not be action packed, but there you go. Anyway, that's me done for another video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do like it, please like and subscribe. Uh, and as always, have a good one.